Okay, so we're going to take a quick um, you know, look into idol vulnerability, right? How you can be able to find it, uh, what is going to be the process, right? Uh, or what is the methodology behind, you know, finding these kind of vulnerabilities, right? Uh, I do have this simple graph, okay? Now, this user with ID 1000, um, you know, is requesting for is or information, right? And that application is going to return that information to that very user with um, the ID 1000. So if that same user, right, is requesting for another user's information, that is with ID 1002, right, um, that application is going to return it to this user without proper verification or proper authorization, right? Because that application is, you know, vulnerable to idle vulnerability, right? So, if you are able to exploit the flaw in that very application, you can be able to, you know, read or access data that you are not authorized to access, right? And in this video, we're going to look into how you can look out for idols, right? What are the processes, okay? Now, are you of this application? And this is Tinder, okay? If you take a look at the um, the link at the top of this um, browser, right? You're going to see that we have something that, you know, looks like an ID, right? This looks like, like an ID. So whenever we see something that looks like an ID, we are going to take note of it, okay? So now, um, this is my own process of, you know, looking at for IDs. I do take note of IDs, right? So whenever I see ID, I, you know, take note of it and um, be come back to it again, right? And now, uh, we know that we have um, um, an ID uh, in, this, in this very um, area of this application, right? And um, when I open my Bob suit, okay, so the question is, um, I have the ID right here, and I need to identify other IDs, okay, because um, I need to know what ID is um, the application using to give me this information, right? Now, and the first thing I need to know about is, um, is this application making use of um, uh, cookie base? authentication or authorization or is it making use of uh, maybe authorization via token right now if you take a look at this um uh this http request uh i cannot be able to see like i can't find the cookie right and uh, if i search for cookie i can't find it okay now let's look into um what this application is using to return this data Okay, now if you come here, I'm, I'm getting something like a user section ID and we have an X out token, right? And um, I'm going to take off the, the both, uh, both values, right? Both objects and click on send. And uh, we're getting 401 on the rest, right? Now I'm going to take off one, the user section ID. And we got uh, a 200 OK. OK, so what if I take off the X out token? We are going to get 401 authorized. So it is making use of what? the X out token for authorization, right? And uh, I'm going to take note of it. So whatever you are doing, whenever you are testing for idle, right, or you are testing for you know, access control, okay you need to take note of all these things right so and i'm going to take note of this so i'm, I'm going to say the application uses x or token for authorization right so i'm gonna take note of all these things okay now um if you come to the um the HTTP um request body, you have user ID, you've got other ID, you've got uh the merge ID, 
session ID. Now these are all I um IDs, right? These are all identifiers. So we, so you need to you know, keep them, take note of them. Okay, because um you are going to play with them later. Okay. So now we understood that we understood that um the application is making use of um the X auth token for authorization, right? Now we've got user ID and I'm going to store this user ID. So whenever you're testing for IDO, you need to have two user accounts. Okay. Maybe you can uh you know add an object and say account one and um account two, right? So you are going to create um two user accounts for you to be able to, you know. Um, effectively test for idle vulnerabilities or access control issues, right? So this is my own process of, you know, looking out for idols, right? I do take note of these IDs. I do, you know, want to know how this application is, is uh, or I do find a way to look out for what kind of, you know, process is this application using to verify user identity, right? Uh, is it making use of um, cookie-based authorization? Is it making use of um, the AWS authorization, like uh, the X or token, the authorization BR token, and so on? So you need to understand about all these things. And now, uh, wherever you see an ID, right, you need to take note of that very area or that very parameter because um, uh, it is going to be useful for you, um, you know, uh, whenever you are trying to, you know, exploit these IDs or this idol, right? So take note of that information before you could, you know, proceed into exploiting it. So you need to understand your target, uh, the application, how it works, um, what kind of, you know, um, authorization method is it's using to fetch the data, right? So this is all about idol and how to test for it. Okay, thank you.